On the political front, uh, this will take Imran Khan to another area of unprecedented strength. He became uh, larger than he has ever been after being arrested. Uh, he has shown poise um, during incarceration. He has uh, shown uh, strength, which he had not earlier shown when he was avoiding the courts, uh, especially the Islamabad High Court. He has shown resolve. He has shown defiance. And all of these are hallmarks of a of a of the kind of brave leader that everyone else pretends to be in Pakistan. And currently, it's the season for Imran Khan. So, the NAB story that had come out uh, in the Islamabad High Court uh, initial order given by Justice Amir Farooq, where the arrest was legal but it was also contemptuous, was that according to the NAB, they had finalized the inquiry against Imran Khan on the 28th of April, which wasn't known to anyone other than them. And uh, they had decided by the 1st of May uh, which is two days after having started their investigation that Imran Khan must be arrested, which is an arrest that is affected when you are not cooperating uh, with the investigating body. Uh, that is the only relevant portion of the laws of arrest that are relevant here. So they had decided within two days, without informing Imran Khan that the investigation had begun, without giving him notice that uh, the NAB chairman had deemed fit that he was to be arrested. Now this storyline, if it had happened to anyone else, would also not have stood uh, the scrutiny of a high court um, and it, for Imran Khan as well it did not and it's good that it didn't because uh, he should be investigated uh, there is a lot of uh, smoke uh, in the Al Qadir trust issue there is a lot of illicit transfer prima facie illicit transfers occurring for what seems to be no valid consideration other than the help that Malik Riaz has received on the other end by the cabinet approving 190 million pounds being siphoned through Pakistan and being given to the Supreme Court in lieu of a Malik Riyaz fine instead of being deposited into the state coffer. So there is a state case to answer for. But that does not mean you begin by arresting the person that you seek to arrest without even asking any questions of the person who is supposed to have actually uh, instigated the crime, which is Malik Riyaz. And uh, Malik Riyaz will never be asked these questions because uh, Malik Riyaz's 190 million pounds contain a large sum that is related to one Hyde Park place, which he bought off Hassan Nawaz Sharif, which was sold to him uh, under duress by Hassan Nawaz Sharif, uh, or uh, in a form of forced sale, because Hassan Nawaz Sharif had suddenly become aware of the Panama Papers containing its details. So he had to get it off his hands. So the story ties too many inconvenient truths together, so it will never really be told, other than by way of trying to paint Imran Khan to be some kind of corrupt, uh, out of Malik Riyaz, which he may well turn out to be, but you can't prove that without also tying in Malik Riyaz.